Club Check TV, man. We're out of the Europa League. Out, evicted. Done out here. 1-1-0. One, one, damage was done in the first leg, to be honest. <laughs> the damage was done. 3-0. People like, yes, talking about Barcelona, talking about Istanbul. We're not really in that form to really... I don't want to say I didn't believe I'm a Liverpool fan. I hoped, didn't it? I hoped. But in my heart of hearts, we're not finishing chances. And once again, it feels like my brother's just saying to me, what do you even say? Like, I don't even know what to say. We missed that. How do you go into a game needing three goals and your only goal comes from the pennies? But how did we not score from open play? There you but go. It's, there you go. It's not taking our chances, I suppose. That's a bit of a knee jerk thing to say, but didn't take our chances again. It's the truth. We, we didn't score from open play. We didn't score from open play against City, um, against Palace. We didn't score from open play against them last week. The game before that, I think we scored a penalty in a corner against Man United. So we haven't actually scored from open play for like four games. That's just off the top of my head. That's not an up to stat, but it sounds if it sounds right. We're, and we're missing chances. Like the chance Salah missed, Salah, whatever, whatever, however you pronounce his name now, however people were to me, they don't like the way I say Salah. Safe. The chance that he missed, Salah scores that ten times out of ten. Yes, yeah. that's, that's unmissable, right? When he's missed that, because that, that's two 0 All right, we're on him. Because the first half was half decent. Got yeah. the early penalty. All right, let's go. And we were trying, but. The way we went out in the second half, there's like 10 minutes left. The goalie, we got a goal kick, short goal kick. Goalie to centre-back, passes it to Canati, passes it back to Van Dijk, passes it, to, passes it back to the goalie. Then the goalie hoofs it long. Just fucking hoof it long in the first place if you're going to do that. We brought on Dads, we brought on Nunes, we've got a man in the box who can win a header. And we don't want to play the ball up there. We're not sending no crosses in. People moaning about Trent coming off. I understand it. Trent's just come back from injury. He ain't got 90 in his legs. Bradley's got injured. He had to come off, but... He was the only positive, really. You can see how much you've missed him. Yeah, no, we've missed Trent badly. All of us talk about Trent can't defend. Badly. To be fair, we kept a clean sheet today, but we kept a clean sheet against, let's be real, a team that wasn't really trying to score against us. They were more just defending, trying to stop us scoring three goals against them. And to be fair, there was no danger of that. The only other slight positive I could say, which is a bit hey, but we never we haven't gone through to win it and get the coefficient points. So fifth place in the Premier League is not getting Champions League now. So Man United definitely ain't getting Champions League. But that is me being a is that me being a hater? Yes, that's me being a hater. So but that's not even that's not even nothing. Um Super Sly said to my brother a few weeks ago, we've turned him, as the season's progressed, we've turned him into Henderson. Because he can run. With technique. Yeah, Henderson with technique, but the same principles, get the ball, pass it backwards. I don't even think this is the guy's real position where we're playing him. Because at the beginning of the season, he had quality, no? He looks like he's lost confidence. When you see some of the passes he's misplacing as well, it's just... It's not that he looks like he's lost confidence. He's definitely lost confidence. It's plain to see. And he's got it in the bag to get the ball turned. He's got good tech, so yeah. It's strange. First half of the season and the second half have been totally different from him. Nunes, Jar and Elliot came on. To be fair, that's the subs I was calling for. The fact we even brought Salah off. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's I think it's done, you know. I think it's done. Klopp. I I could see Salah going now. Uh, he just doesn't seem to be that guy. I hope it's temporary. It's hard to look at the league and think that we can win the last six games that we need to win to even even if someone else does drop points, like just like it's just ending with a you know, like the balloon. Yeah, the balloon. And it's just not a pop. It's not a bang, it's just a That's how the balloon's emptying out, like just you know, like a soft fart. It's just sickening. Oh, it's it's hard. Obviously, the game's just finished. My heart's down. But as I said, my belief wasn't even there. My belief wasn't really there. We brought on Nunes, didn't do nothing. 
nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. Like, if you can't play the perfect pass for him to run onto in behind for a one on one so that he can miss it, he can't do nothing for you. Jota, we brought on Jota, everyone was happy. Yes, that's what we want. Where do we put him? Right wing. Why would you do that? Why? I don't understand. Why would you do that? You want him as close to the goal as possible. Put him up front in a two, let someone win the headers and let him pick up the pieces and slap in some goals up. I found the whole thing confusing. Klopp, Klopp. Robertson turned up again. Yeah, Robertson. Robertson's probably giving it to a few. What? Yeah, yeah. Robertson, Robertson's, Robertson's coming in and changing room with chest. Robertson can hold his head high and ask people questions. Why didn't they do their job? Because he done his job. Trent as well can hold his head high. Other than that, I don't really know. What, what changed in the second half? Was it them? Was, yeah, it, was they, it them? Their manager made a few alterations and we didn't. We didn't have the answers. Normally we do. Normally we always come out in the second half. Well, over the season, we've been performing better in the second half, but not today. Not today. Not today. It's like the, the words Klopp gave them would have worked against how they were playing in the first half, but when they changed their system and just sat back and said, all right, come on then, we couldn't do nothing. We, oh. I don't know why we never planned B it and just, like you say, long pass forward, someone try and win the knockdown, Danza Nunes is there, and play off that. I don't know, you know what I mean? We wasn't progressing it through the midfield, so why did we keep on with that? But It's the Salah on the right wing touchline thing that's killing me. I just don't understand it. He's never, ever been like a touchline winger. So I know it's for the shape and all this, but it's not working. We're not scoring goals. And now we've got Fulham at Craven Cottage. And my chest is down. Who's going to start? Or is it too early for that? Elliot has to start, man. Elliot start. Elliot has to start. He must. It must be getting to the point where he's just like, fuck it, I'm going to have to knock on the manager's door because what is going on here? Can't get in the team. It's, it's hard work, man. It's hard work. I don't know what to say. We're out of the cup. To be honest, in the beginning of the season, did I really care about the Europa League? No. No, I didn't. I'll be honest. But I'm not trying to say I don't care now. Because once it kind of looked like the league has not slipped away from us, but we we took a backward step the other day, the Europa League would have made it more acceptable. Now, to finish the last season with a, with a, with a League Cup just feels sad from the position we was in. Mm. People are like, yeah, but last season we finished where we're... Forget all that, because we're here now. We was here. A week and a half, two weeks ago, we was in a position. You understand? And now we're blatantly not. And it's like, all right, yeah, even if City drop points, are Arsenal going to drop points as well? Because we ain't catching that goal difference with the way we're scoring. I don't or know, not man. Scoring. Yeah, or not scoring. Listen, we're out of the Europa League, man. On to Fulham, man. Power it up, Fulham. Power it up, man. If you can, if you've got anything there, give us some power. We need to beat Fulham. We need Jota to start. Jota has to start, preferably up front. Um, I thought Gakpo was decent Gakpo again needs to today. Stay, stay in that gear. He needs to stay on the left. Diaz can run fast, but he's a headless chicken. So I think he might need to just sit down for a minute or even start on the right. Even start on the right because I don't know what this boy is doing. I, I don't know what he's yeah, doing. Yeah. At least have people on the wings that go. Or, he, or yeah. if if he is starting, I can't give him a run. Well, you don't really play up front still for us. No, but but it's, I prefer to put him up front. Yeah, get Salah. Up get front. Salah up front if that's the case. Get him close to the goal so he can score goals. We're not scoring. Goals. What we what we're doing is not working. But we can beat Fulham. We can beat Fulham, and we have to beat Fulham. Are you calling for Maka or Endo? Endo. McAllister and Elliot. Like That's the midfield I'm calling for. Gakpo on the left, Jota or Sala up front, and then on the right, the other one. Diaz needs to sit down. Trent back in the team. Same centre backs and goalie and left back. Let's just start our first our first five defenders and goalie. Let's just start them twice in a row. Forget all this rotating now. There's nothing to rotate for. We're out of everything. We're, we're, we're finished. This is it. This is it. So, yeah, man. Cop Chat TV. Bomsky.